What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, FB Aftermath, back with another video. Today, we're on the third installment of our upper lower training split for my natties out there that's looking for a program for something new. We already got two videos up, so make sure you start with the first one, then the second, and voila, you've come to the third. We got a push-pull workout with a back focus, so that means if you watch the first video, four back exercises and then three chest exercises. That's the goal of today. We got a lot of heavy weights to push up today. We're gonna start out with some bench because that's actually gonna be the heaviest lift of today. Now, that being said, like this video, subscribe to the channel because you're interested in what I have done for you with this playlist, all right? It's always gonna be here. You can always come back. You can create your own as well. I'm here giving you the free shit because it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's get it started. So what we do with this program is we're trying to get a good balance. You know, and I say trying because there's always possible better ways and this is what I've come up with for the moment. It's a balance between strength gains, making pro progressive strength while still being able to work on hypertrophy training. Now, this style of training generated from, you know, back when I was younger, waking up five o'clock in the morning for football training. We would have, it was, it was honestly started with the same thing. And I owe it to this type of programming to where I'm at today. Now, you know, starting with, uh, we have our push-pull day, Mondays, legs, Tuesdays, conditioning, Wednesdays. And over the years, you know, I've tried different types of training styles, and tried to find out what works best. But for me, you know, where I got the most strength, the most recovery, um, more, the, more, the most well-rounded out of everything from lifting to, to uh, conditioning and staying in shape, this was the best thing for me. Now, if you're not, you know, looking to run or anything, then you just take those rest days and you don't do anything, you know, but it's still a very good hybrid style of training for anybody. So we just finished doing 455 for the top set. I'm not going past that right now, but it conserve my energy. We're going to try to uh, do 405 for, for four sets of three. So this is still in my in a higher range uh, percentage for me, but we're going to test it out. And uh, I might go down about like 20 pounds if this doesn't work out for the first set, or if it's too much for me for the first set. Y'all see, y'all see her back there struggling. Alpha Lee. Go so after my, my full outfit, the hoodie, everything. So ever since I changed my grip a little bit wider, it's just, it hasn't been a very great feeling. My joints hurt a lot more, like my shoulders, my elbow, I don't, I just don't, I don't know what it is. Like it just, it just, I, it's just not for me. So I'm, especially I feel like the wider grip is for those people who have those big chest arcs, arches. And I don't have that. You, you rarely see much of an arch in my back. I mean, I already have a natural just arch in my back. That's why when I deadlift sometimes, people don't think that my hips are locked out when they are. It's just that my back is just so curved. And I've tried to fix that for years, but I just got that African booty, booty arch. Um, <laughs>
comes to roads, I feel like it's best to do chest supported because what's the purpose? What's the purpose of having to stabilize, using your core to stabilize, you know, focusing on that, when you could do more weight with chest supported and with good form, you know, rows is cool. You know, sometimes I'll do like pendulum rows or pause, pause rep rows or whatever, but I feel like you just get more out of doing chest supported rows. Um, and this is coming from somebody that still loves to do some heavy, just heavy sets of rows, you feel me? All right, so we're gonna do set to 10. We're gonna do like a, a full hold at the top for about a second and then back down. All right, so now moving on from the rows, the chest supported rows, we got our pull downs. We're gonna go from our horizontal movement to our vertical. It's kind of gonna go back and forth into our, um, that, that was our, that was the unilateral movement. So we could continue the unilateral, which I prefer uh, to work on balance, imbalances and things. Um, but this of course isn't a unilateral movement. But we're gonna do four to five sets of about, let's say 12 to 15 reps. We're gonna go higher reps with this and uh, full focus, once again, get that squeeze at the bottom. The purpose for the squeeze at the bottom, or that one, we like to say like, it's like a zero, one, zero. It's like the zero is kind of just like a normal, normal rep. Uh, zero is pretty much a normal descend, you know? It's not really a, a count, it's just kind of like, you get it done in a second. You want that second hold and then zero. So boom, one, so zero, one, zero. The zero again is going back up, so that's kind of what that sees. If you ever see that on a program, so we got about medium grip. We're not going to go too wide. I don't like to go out here. I like to stay within that curve. Elbows in close. Good, what's good? Moving on to a back to chest. So we got our bench done, good sets, back rows, our pull downs. Now we're gonna move on to some incline, unilateral movement. We're gonna do uh, the hammer strength machine because the dumbbell area is packed. And on top of that, I can put all more weight on the hammer strength machine and just kind of just focus on massive amounts of weight and strength and growth, you know? Y'all right here? Yeah, I'm just my boy on. Come on, to meet you, bro. Oh, let me finish the set real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two, three, uh, up. What's good, bro? Hey, man. I've been watching your shit since 2015. Man. Oh, shit, I appreciate you, my boy. Yeah. Now moving to Ancon, we're gonna go heavy. We're gonna go from eight to 12 reps. I'm gonna focus more so on the eight side of the 12 reps, but uh, we're gonna continually go up. So as you see right now, like first set, you know, I got two plates on each side. This will probably do for 12. And then, so here, let me, let me I'm, I'm explaining how the eight to 12 works. So when we say eight to 12, there is, um, the, the, the purpose is mainly aggressive overload. So first set, we're gonna go for 12 reps. We go up and wait. Second set, we go up for 10 reps, go up and wait again. And then we're at that top end eight reps and then for the last set we could be at eight reps again or if you want to end it with a little bit more volume you take it down a little bit and go for more reps so that's kind of how that eight to twelve works that's what we give you that space for for pretty much a pyramid scheme type of training
Come on, Justin. Stand up. One more rep, one more rep, y'all. <sighs> Fuck. So right here will be a little bit heavier with the neutral grip rows. We'll go to about, we're about six to 10 reps. So now we're getting a little bit lower, which means that sixth range is gonna be the heaviest, that 10, the lightest. We've got four sets, six to 10 reps. So, a little tip with this. I like to keep those elbows tight, raise and relax. We're gonna go reverse grip, pull down, single arm. So I'm gonna open up. The majority of gyms have this machine, so we're gonna open up a bit to the side, pull it down. One. For 10 reps, three, four, ah. Uh. Turn this off, nice. I've been kind of excited to get this done. So for chest, we're gonna do a decline press on the cables. We got cable decline press. We got cable decline press, and then we're gonna lower the weight. We're gonna do flies, decline flies. So we're gonna do 10 reps of the decline press, lower it, 10 reps of the flies. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the workout. Appreciate you guys for tuning into the YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Any questions or any video ideas you guys have or want to see. And uh, that's it. Code Aftermath Alpha Elite. Make sure you hit that link in the description. Grab you some Alpha Elite for the holidays. Grab it for yourself, for your girl, for your boy, your grandma, whoever. I don't give a shit. Just grab some. Appreciate your support. Peace out.